All right, this is Soul Axiom, which has uh, come out of early access for full release today, uh, simultaneously on Steam, across uh, Linux, Mac, and Windows. I'm going to start a new game, but I'm playing it a bit. Yeah. Just to check things out. So early in the game, oh, well, it's just some weird, uh, weird glitches. Like I think this bright white glow around the hands is not intentional. It's um, it's not supposed to be there. There's some more glitches uh, later on when we hit the first level, but got onto the second level and that seemed uh, a lot cleaner so hopefully it's just here at the start so Soul Axiom let's uh, talk about what it's about it's, it's a first person puzzle adventure game with apparently a, a strong story uh, I've been interested in it for a while I've been, I've been you know I've had it on my wish list while it was only access I've just never quite I never quite got to the point where 50 quid I had spare was a strange trigger. Trigger up there and it's gone. Right, I'm just going to try turning the sound down. Let's uh, go in here. Audio options. I have had it down a bit. But it still seems pretty loud in my ear. So either sound options don't work. How does that sound? Right, that's the graphical glitch I've been talking I've talked about. Right, so it's a puzzle adventure game. That's something that's supposed to be a glow around mass to indicate that it's something you're supposed to do something with. It's a puzzle adventure game. I've said that a few times now. Uh, with a strong story. I've been I've been following it for somewhat some time. I played it at uh, EGX, although I played it on a Wii U, so a bit different. But there, uh, I mean, I've seen it's much further on in the game than this. I was doing a puzzle that involved um, flicking switches and turning things in particular order and shining a light to uh, get steps to appear and collect components. It was all quite nice. The whole premise of the game, you know, I'm quite keen on it. Right, you find these eyes, which I presume are, are just to do I think I've got an achievement the first time I found it. Uh, they're just discoverable through the game. I'm not sure if it's really supposed to be a clue as to how to solve the current puzzle, but anyway. Get back up here. So we need to climb the ladder. Up we go. We get told we can't escape. There's a zip line up here. Let's interact. Uh, the whole premise of the game, the 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 uh, the sort of 3D puzzle games, quite into them. Story game, quite into them. Always seem like it's going to be a good fit. So, but my particular taste, and the fact that they wouldn't do a Linux version launch, even if you know we have got a few issues there, is uh, is nice. See, this looks much better to me. I've been here before. We're standing among the wreckage of uh, the flying ship. And she will help us understand. So here everything looks right. We've got blows around stuff. Looks pretty good to me at this point anyway. So I'm going to plough on with the game regardless of the uh, issues in the opening screen and, ho and hope... Uh, there's an easy resolution for that. I've, I've got an NVIDIA card and I'm on 361 drivers which uh, are known to have some issues with some games although uh, mostly I've been alright so far. 
But anyway, yes, we're, we're approaching this uh, the last chance, which I'm sure is is uh, intended to signify something. Uh, so there's an aggro over here for Elysia, which we keep seeing us it in the level loading things. Then now and forever. So the fact that the game's called Soul Axiom and we have clear references to uh, what's Elysium. Oh, well, we're back to the glitches. That probably means I've got to do something with that. A rocket Raccoon, is that? I can't go up those stairs. Let's go outside again. Go up these stairs. Interesting. Can I walk around the front? Yes, I can. Because I did spot earlier there was another eye on the side. Let's uh, interact with that and see what it does. Oh, yes. So you get an achievement for interacting with the eye things. There was nothing unpremeditated. Yeah, so we're getting, we're getting some uh, heavy religious... Uh, Connotations here. Can I get in there? No. There are holes, but not big enough to walk through. So, uh, definite uh, uh, echoes of of um, other 3D puzzle games you might be experienced with. Now, can I do anything with that? See, I think the fact that you get this glowy. Clearly that's not how it's supposed to look, but I kind of thinking that that's, that's some key thing. Oh, that game's actually plugged in. It's making a noise. What's it called? Extreme Super Apocalypse. Let's play the game then. Interesting. So was that the clue? I need to interact with something here somewhere. Ah. They will be the end of you. So, to summarise, Soul Axiom, released today, previously an early access title, and uh, native online from the start, not, not without its glitches, but, you know, nonetheless, we can play the game on launch day, worth checking out. There is a 30% off sale. we do with this. Interesting. With the 30% off sale. There's oh teleport. There we go. And I've done another level. With the 30% off sale there's there's a deluxe edition that has a soundtrack. There's an extra super deluxe edition that has a soundtrack and an art book. And uh, yeah, I've been interested in this game for a long time. If, if you like story games and or puzzle games, I think that's probably significant. Then yeah, check it out. So Axiom launched down Steam, uh, native on Linux. I'm expecting this to be pretty good and uh, currently can be had for a tenner. If you just get the normal version, definitely worth checking out.